previously. Um, hi? Whoa, what was that? That's a good question. Sure. Currently. Hello YouTube and welcome back to Gothic Please. Dustin and the same tale. When we left off, we went chasing after a kid and these mushrooms are explosive. So, <laughs> we're just gonna run by them. Good plan. Ah. 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 Nope, nope. Nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, hi. I've been waiting to find you. Da, da, da. Uh, I need five of these. And... I appear to have not yet found the other material, but that's okay. Hearing noise. Oh, we're good. Okay. Okay. Oh! Okay. I can only buy four of these. Your transaction. What? But I can sell I something. Am you to serve. I can sell this. And I can sell this. Whatever that is. Sell that. Uh pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Um Duncan and Cyan are playing a Star Wars MMO. I'm not 100% sure <laughs> off the top of my head what it's called, but I'm sure most of you out there are familiar with it. Uh, yes, something like that. Anyways. Appreciated. Watch your back. Thank you. I'm gonna keep going now. Ah, explosive mushrooms of doom! Okay, I don't want to go that way then. Just proving. Um, another save point. Which means I'm getting close to something important. Yeah, the overall mood's starting to change, so I must be getting to something important. Shops restocked. That's nice. Eep, eep. Ah! I just exploded in their face. Okay, maximum health. Confirm upgrades. Okay. Ow, you dick. Fear me, I have flaming awesomeness of doom. Trolk jacket. That's supposed to be like some sort of troll reference or something. Don't be trolling me on this game. That'd be mean. I can't go that way. <sighs> okay. I'm going the wrong way. It's okay. It gives me, it gives me some time to grind, I guess. I keep using MMO terms on these games. Like on uh, Master Quest, I was farming. In this, when I do my habitual leveling, I call it grinding. I've been living with my roommates too long. <laughs> okay, going back this way, because apparently I'm supposed to go this way. Huh? Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. You will most definitely regret meeting me. Keep wary of the bubble sprouts, Dust. Or this battle will be over before it begins. Ow. Whoa. 
Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Really? Really? Oh, balls! Okay. Fuck. S -s Stop running away from me, kid! And there he goes. Come now, Dust. He's obviously terrified. Let's go find him. Maybe get out of this raining death. I agree. Raining death is not good. Oh jeez. I know I've probably mentioned this before, but it always baffles me just how amazingly beautifully made this game is. This game is always just like amazing. I don't think those monsters were smart enough to build a fence. I'm certain they didn't. Let's hop on over. Um, hi, I'm just kind of entering your village. Don't mind me. There he is. Your father's done gonna have himself a heart attack after he hears about this. I'm sorry, Mama. Goodness, what would I do if you'd gotten yourself hurt? How'd they jump my fence? Crafty vermin, those surface dwellers. She does see that I can fly, right? I'll be sure to tell her, Fidget. I'm sure that'll clear things right up. Back! Back, you beast! I got this ear spoon and I ain't afraid to use it! We aren't here for trouble, ma'am. In fact, we just saved your son. Huh? What are they talking about, Bobo? Um, well, they have been following me for a while. What? How far out did you go? I may just save the spoon for you. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, we just came down from the surface to... Do I look like some country bumpkin to you? Of course you're from the surface. I think I'd remember seeing a talking, flying weasel cat thing down here. I think we got off on the wrong foot here. My name is Dust, and this is Fidget. Some creatures attacked a village above these caves, and we're trying to figure out why. Attacked a surface village, you say? Well, if that don't beat all, we underground folk tend to keep to ourselves. Got enough problems of our own already. I'm sorry to hear that. Actually, what I'm saying is, we got enough problems of our own without you surface folk bringing all that nonsense down here. So, if you don't mind... Come on, Dust. We're obviously not wanted here. Wait! That's enough, Bopo! You ought to get back to your chores before I take out the spoon again! Mama, I've seen them fight! They even got themselves a talking sword! I bet they could help! Young man, I don't care if their sword spouts rainbows and bowls of delicious baked beans. I don't want their help! Oh jeez. Racist like. Die, if we don't do something. die? What's going on? Well, our healing wells have gone and run dry. And my paws done gotten real sick. That's why I went out. To find some more of that water. I hate saying it, but it's true. See these mud pots lying around? Normally they're bubbling to the brim with mineral water. But just a few weeks ago, they dried up to nothing. Mineral water, huh? Still don't excuse you from putting yourself in danger like that! I may not be able to help your father, but I sure as heck ain't gonna lose you too! Mama! I wonder if those monster attacks on the surface could be related to your wells drying up. I wouldn't be at all surprised. It's been a couple weeks since the water dried up, but every creature here is feeling the effects. I'll bet those creatures broke through to the surface looking for more water. Mama, maybe these two can go talk to the lady. Ah. Uh. Oh, she's a sweet old soul. Lives deep in the caves, makes the waters flow. 
She doesn't show herself around here too often, and we can't actually go see her on account of all the nasties living between here and there. In that case, I'll go speak with this lady and see why she stops the flow of water. You do that? This can't all just be a coincidence. The attacks on the surface, your wells drying up. I'm certain this lady must know something about what's going on. Well then, I had you folks hmm. pegged all wrong. If you aim to help my husband, I promise not to clock you with my wooden spoon of justice. Wooden spoon um, of justice. Thanks. So, you're heading down to talk to the lady now? You'll help my pa? We'll do our best, Bopo. Just don't go running off again. You got my word. Okay. Hi. Oh, it's a pretty kitty cat. What? Me? It's a flying cat. Oh. She's um. not a cat, little girl. She's a... I don't even know what she is. I'm not a cat, you dolt. I'm a nimbat. A nimbat. Is that what you're called? A nimbat? <laughs> yes, hello. My name's Bidget. Maybe we've met. Can I hold it? I want it. Do um. you do something? It's trying to grab me with its little child hands. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Fidget. Sorry, um, um, what's your name? Smoba. <laughs> Well, Smobop, I'm sorry, but as much as she might look like one, Fidget is not a toy. Hey! Oh, I want her! She talks! I'll trade you. Look, I've got this box thing. Oh, hey, the Doss, box. Look. That must be Reed's, Reed's box. box. Hmm, tell you what. Next time I go to the surface, I'll see if I can find a suitable replacement. Then we'll trade. Phew, good idea, Dust. You know, that shop in Aurora had some things. Maybe the shopkeeper could figure something out for us? Maybe. Yeah, maybe you can make us some kind of... Oh, jeez. After all, she's far too young to take care of a pet like you. <laughs> yeah, way too much responsibility for... Hey! I, I hate to say it, but... Uh... One of my friends actually gave me a spoiler. I know exactly what I need to do <laughs> to take care of that side quest. Um, hi. Well, hi there, big fella. Am I hearing the local gossip right? You and your flying mongoose are gonna save her village? What the heck is a mongoose? <laughs> and yes, you've heard correctly. Is this the way to the lady's chamber? <laughs> well... Yeah, but I don't think you're gonna pick through this here hole in the wall. We had to close up the passage recently to keep those crazed nematodes from coming out and attacking the village. What the heck is a nematode? Anyway, seems to me the only way you're getting through is by sliding. I'd kick you through myself, but you know, I got these fat little legs and they hardly keep me vertical. I appreciate the thoughts, but I'll find mm. another way around. Here, boy, take this red resonance jam. A red It'll open up the basement, gem. and maybe you'll find a better way down there. Just make sure to avoid impaling yourself on them spike of rocks and thorns. Wait, your underground cave has a basement? How does that make any sense? Shut up, Fidget. Hey, big fella, what do you say to me serving your flying rat a big old jug of shut up juice? <laughs> While you're down there, why don't you make yourself useful and collect me my hitting stick? Your You see, I use this here what? stick to do my hitting, but I lost her in the basement, and I'm honestly just too gale darn lazy like to go looking for it on my own. They don't have me standing around here for my good looks after all. <laughs> Someone's got to defend this here hole. All right, Blop. If I should come across your hitting stick, I'll be sure to pick it up. Eep, 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 eep. Okay, so the red resonance gem I now has. This is good. I'm gonna talk to you. Hello, dear. I'm going to hazard a guess that you're the outsider in town. I stand out that much, huh? Well, it's been years since I've seen someone like you. And it's been maybe 30 years since I've seen a nimbat like your friend here. What a treat. We don't like flying into caves. You know, the dark, the cramped spaces, 
the endless, endless gloom? That's endless? Forever? <laughs> I'm sorry. Look at me going on. My name is Flo Hop, and my husband Gappy is up there in the pen minding the sheep. He's been so overworked that I was hoping to make him his favorite stew. But to be honest, I'm having trouble growing red moss with the wells running dry. I think I might have gone and made my last stew. I could always help you find some of that red moss, if you like. Oh, I couldn't bother you for something as silly as that. I know where they used to grow, but with all these monsters about, I dare not leave Mud Pot. It's no trouble, really. If I come across any, I'll bring them to you. Well, You're awesome, you Dust. Sweet one? Red moss clumps grow at the base of the large red mushrooms, and they tend to prefer perfect darkness. Just don't hurt yourself on my account. In fact, take this ring. It'll provide a little bit of light in the darkest of places. Oh, neat. I got a ring. <laughs> Show me this ring. Whoa. Oh. 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 I'm gonna talk to more people. Well, good evening, youngin. How does anyone know what time of day it is down here? I hear the two of you are helping out Hope Pop. He's in a bad way. Excuse me, my friends. Hope you don't mind, but I gotta get back to searching. Did you lose something? Actually, I did. I must have left the gate open because my flock of sheep seems to have gone astray. I'm afraid some of them may have gone past the edge of town. I'll keep my eyes open for them. Well, thank you, son. There's six of them out there somewhere. Believe you me, they're in for a good talking to when I keep my hands on them. Oh, jeez. Anyways, I'm going to end it here. Thank you as always for watching the annotation on the top right hand of the screen. We'll take you to the next episode. Like, favorite, and subscribe. And do feel free to share this on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Comments are love. Please post comments. Let me know what I'm doing wrong or if there's another game you want to see me play. I might actually get to it. I'll also post other annotations to other videos that I've done and I'm in a graveyard. <laughs> uh, stay classy, guys, and keep playing those games. Destroy this! And it gives me chicken! Serious? Oh, chicken. Excuse me, what Pink's doing? Shut up, Nami! Yeah, yeah, he's, he's doing what I think he's doing. He's humping me.